Now, moving on to developments from short seller Hindenburg's allegations against the SEBI chairperson, a report by the Indian Express suggests that SEBI chief Madhavi Puri Booch and her husband had holdings in the Mauritius based IPE Plus Fund 1 at the time the fund was being probed by the market regulator. Yash is joining in with more details. Yash, tell us more on this. Parmas, as you rightly pointed out, this is a report which has been published by Indian Express. Uh, and just uh, going back to the original research paper from Hindenburg, it said that there was this one particular fund, IPE plus fund one, which was opened through India Infoline. And the main allegation uh, around this fund was that Vinod Adani allegedly uh, invested uh, funds from Adani in this particular fund and tried to reroute them in the country into the equity markets into Adani Group stocks. Uh, now, what the report from Hindenburg says uh, uh, is that uh, from the report from Indian Express says is that uh, Sebi chairperson and her husband also had investments uh, into the same fund that is uh, IP plus uh, Fund One. And uh, as far as SEBI's investigation into the various offshore funds where Adani and affiliated parties invested in, uh, this fund as well was under SEBI's investigation. Uh, another important point which the report from Indian, uh, from Indian Express points out is that uh, this particular fund which is in question, that is IP uh, uh, Fund Plus One, uh, was also under SEBI's investigation as a part of its larger investigation against the Adani group and the period under which which uh, this particular fund was being investigated by SEBI uh, coincided or overlapped uh, with the period that uh, SEBI chairperson Madhvi Puri Buch and her husband had their investments into the same fund. Do remember uh, Hindenburg uh, in its research report had pointed out that uh, before taking over at uh, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, Madhvi Puri Buch had uh, you know transferred the authority to this particular fund in the name of uh, her husband. Two weeks later, after taking over, she had asked for redemption of this particular fund. So, of course, the larger question uh, here, which, which remains, is that uh, did the chairperson recuse herself uh, out of the investigations against Sadani since there could have been a potential conflict of interest? Interesting developments there, Yash. Thanks a lot for bringing us that. Time for a short break here on Business Lunch. Up next, we get